Dr. Stoltz, which will be very popular, so I ask experts to give me pardon for not very deep presentation. But I will speak about very, very interesting from my point of view. Actually, this is example of a modern experimental technique permits us to create completely new state of matter or completely new physical object, which of course did not exist before, which opened very interesting possibility both for experimental and for theoretical investigations. First of all, uh, I, however, I would like to make a short prediction why this uh, uh, field of cold gases give no new possibility to work in condenser, uh, condenser matter physics. It's uh, those, uh, these uh, gases are very, uh, these uh, cold gases are very rarefied, so from formal point of view, maybe people can say that this is uh, not condensed matter physics, but uh, it would like to attract first attention to two very important possibilities. First of all, we can apply to this object very strong external field. You know, of course, for quantum physics, we can apply electric field. But electric field must be very high. It, uh, strength for electric field uh, restricted uh, by uh, <coughs> property of the dielectrics or uh, vacuum. In the case of uh, 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 of gases, you can apply strong uh, few actually arbitrary strength and arbitrary deterioration. Right. First of all, the even notion of uh, strong field is completely different. We can say that in uh, the statistical physics, that field is strong if uh, its uh, energy of particles in this field is comparable to the, the thermal uh, energy, typical, or in thermal energy uh, for uh, thermals. Of course, uh, the thermal, you know, the thermal energy corresponds to typically 100 uh, <coughs> 200 uh, Kelvin, uh, and uh, the thermal energy typically is uh, 10,000 uh, Kelvin. So you need really very strong fields. In uh, cold atoms uh, physics, we have uh, temperature, typical temperature, about 100 nanoKelvin. And so of it's very easy to obtain potential energy of uh, the same order. Second very important point, that atoms, cold atoms, are very sensitive to external um, field, mainly to external optical field. If you will look from the expression for potential energy of individual atom in external field, which can be optical field, mainly produced by Laser, we can see that it is proportional to atom polarizability alpha. In this atom polarizability, near the optical transition, has a pole which uh, uh, increases uh, this quantity very much. Important uh, this equation is written when we can neglect absorption, that is, uh, if uh, for this uh, frequency difference is out of natural width of optical length. However, this uh, optic, uh, the uh, optical lines of all atoms are very, very thin because of two reasons. There are two reasons for, um, uh, for finite uh, width of the line. One reason is uh, <coughs> interaction, and the interaction is very small in this region because atoms are on large distances one from another. Second reason is Doppler effect, but Doppler effect is extremely small because atoms are very small. So we can obtain uh, very strong fields on uh, the scale. Actually, there is no restriction we can obtain fields. <coughs> Second, the optical fields can be configured very easily to arbitrary um, shape on the, on the contrary, for example, to magnetic and electric fields, which uh, no, uh, is governed by a show theory, we cannot have uh, <coughs> uh, minimum in, uh, potential. And uh, uh, because of this, we cannot have very strong field with arbitrary configuration. The setup 
very important. Uh, <coughs> uh, and even more important possibility related to the fact that physics of both atoms we can uh, tune interaction between atoms actually to very arbitrary way. The reason is uh, that we uh, in, uh, related to the general property of uh, scattering amplitude of, uh, uh, of um, atom, cold atoms. Cold means in this scale that the wavelength, the broad wavelength of atoms is larger compared to size of interaction, to the range of interaction potential. In this case, scattering amplitude is the known that presented in such a simple thing. Uh, then uh, A, A is a constant, which uh, typically uh, does not uh, depend, uh, depend on uh, energy. Uh, however, uh, uh, and uh, uh, this is a scattering amplitude. This is a uh, quantity which characterizes scattering completely for uh, um, uh, for small atoms. Uh, for uh, future discussion, it will be important to know that there are two possibilities. If scattering amplitude uh, is uh, uh, large enough but positive, and this means uh, that we have a bound state of atoms, that is, the atoms can create a molecular with the very, very small uh, uh, and uh, energy. For positive A. F is uh, negative but large. It means that we have so called virtual level. Okay, this means nothing that M, uh, uh, A is negative and uh, large. The point is that in uh, this field you can change A practically arbitrary. This is due to presence of so-called Feshbach resonance. During the near the Feshbach resonance, this one was different than Feshbach, uh, computed actually only when uh, cold atoms, uh, experimentalists learned this to operate with cold atoms. And in this case, scattering of the uh, depends uh, on uh, magnetic field can uh, be negative, can be positive, it can uh, be equal <coughs> to infinity if uh, B is equal to corresponding resonance field. It's important thing that the cash for resonance itself, when B is equal to resonance uh, magnetic field uh, B, uh, scattering amplitude is equal to infinity, but scattering, uh, uh, scattering length, but scattering amplitude according to the previous equation, of course, not infinite, but final, but depends only on the wave, the prior wave length of atoms. Actually, scattering amplitude is the order of the so-called unit limit, that is order of the, the wave of the atoms. Okay, the uh, existence of pair uh, resonance can be explained very simple if we have atom can have two <coughs> state, one state which uh, corresponds to atom, which can uh, escape one and another on the other and second state corresponds uh, to the power, to the um, sort of power state of uh, atoms, that is some molecules. The point is that uh, um, this two state corresponds to different magnetic momentum. And so you can change magnetic uh, field, you can change the relative position of uh, these uh, two states. Of course, if there is no interaction between two states, there is, uh, this change means nothing. But actually, typically, we have a uh, big interaction between two states, and this bound state energy is actually bound state not only of uh, this upper state, but of the atom and to atom system as a whole. So, change of magnetic field, we can transition go from the negative energy, which is the explained response to positive value of scattering length, to uh, a virtual uh, level, which corresponds to negative. <coughs> okay. 
And this uh, you can this is experimental data to show you that I am the dependent that this corresponds to a real situation. It is really important and actually not many very big number of atoms have uh, uh, cashback resonance which corresponds to uh, not very strong magnetic field. Typical is uh, 100,000 kilograms. This is very convenient thing. But this is uh, very important for our field, uh, uh, lithium-6 atom, which uh, this is uh, uh, a large magnetic field that you can see that we have negative uh, scattering of the field, uh, which uh, <coughs> uh, corresponds to uh, <coughs> virtual state, and here you uh, have, can uh, have uh, uh, positive, and this is resonance when scattering uh, here. <coughs> Important thing that uh, interaction between atoms, uh, between uh, uh, the atoms can be described uh, completely in terms of uh, scattering amplitude. This is very uh, important and very obvious because if atoms are on a large distance of one to another, and an uh, atom can feel another atom only on large distances where its wave function can be expressed in terms of the of the uh, scattering amplitude. Now, this uh, presence of this type of resonance <coughs> permitted uh, people to create, to create a real sense of the world, uh, a completely new state of the world, direct, strong interaction matter. <coughs> OK, uh, we know that uh, in physics, uh, we can distinguish uh, three state of matter, gas, which is uh, uh, the obvious uh, thing, solid, which is uh, also a relatively simple thing, which can be some theory for solids, and liquid. Liquid uh, has the same symmetry as gas, so this is not the uh, correlative difference, but from practical point of view, it's completely different, because liquid is dense and strongly interacting voids. Uh, um, we have, as I told, the uh, theory for gas, we have theory for solid, but there is no simple, in any case, theory uh, for liquid. Uh, but, uh, for example, we we'll now have a little bit extreme, maybe, opinion that liquid is not the thing which can be a uh, good object for theoretical investigation. This is a uh, one quotation from one of our lectures of 58. And this Landau uh, uh, said that uh, because uh, <laughs> interaction is strong, the result of the theory, this is the meaningful statement, will depend on concrete uh, properties of interaction. This statement was completely uh, correct uh, in this time, and, if, uh, and uh, even uh, till, uh, I believe, 2002, because in all liquids which there are in the nature, this is bad. But The situation was changed, and all the <laughs> world that works is in the protection. This is fortunately for native people of Israel, it means nothing. Okay, but this is a really a, a mistake. You can't create artificially new object, which will be liquid, it will be very simple for the theoretical description, or relatively simple but relatively in a very strong sense of the word. <coughs> this, uh, uh, I can explain this very easily. If we first understand what it means that body is a dialogue rarefied. Let us we have gas of all the atoms, and the body, it is on definition, uh, the gas is rarefied if size of atom at zero is small when compared to average distance between atoms. In this case, of course, atoms are on large distances one from another. And this is uh, uh, explicitly implies that in this case, all properties of this uh, body can be described in terms of scattering amplitude to atoms. In any case, it's quite reasonable to think. 
in this uh, way. And this but uh, but does it means uh, that does it mean that uh, uh, interaction is small? Not uh, obviously, because to have interaction small, we must assume the scattering amplitude is small if compared to average distance between atoms. Because this is characteristic of interaction, you can easily to understand that order of magnitude of this interaction is order of uh, scattering amplitude divided on the average distance between atoms. This is the measure of the uh, strength of interaction. And because we know the scattering amplitude can be order of distance of uh, wavelength, if uh, you would have a quantum system, then uh, the wavelength on definition is uh, order we have system with strong interaction. But this system is still uh, during the dialogue in this sense. And this can be described only by a uh, scattering amplitude. But we know the scattering amplitude is. OK, this is, a so we, uh, this is the case is interesting for us. We have dialogue system in the sense of uh, uh, range of interaction. But we have system which is uh, not weakly interact. Of course, it takes place only near first for resonance. Because only the first for near the first for resonance, scattering amplitude can be enlarged. Typical scattering amplitude uh, for atoms uh, is order of magnitude of the R0 of the uh, range of interaction. A, A, 10 times more. But this you will have have a very good inequality. OK, as you know, the scattering amplitude can be expressed in the terms of, uh, of uh, one constant, uh, A, which is uh, scattering length. And if we have scattering length, which is order of the uh, average distance between atoms, atom, which I just thought for quantum system takes place near the first of resonance, we will have system which can be described in uh, uh, which uh, is strongly interacting. So this can be on definition considered as a liquid, or if you would like, on compressor gas, gas uh, uh, high pressure. And this means, from another hand, that this system can be described in terms of only one parameter, one parameter of dimensionality of length which is this uh, scattering length. So from this point of view, Landau is completely wrong, because it does not depend on the details of interaction. On the contrary, it depends only on one parameter. But if you can consider even the extreme case, the scattering <coughs> amplitude is equal to infinity. And in this case, you will have system strongly interacting, which theory cannot contain any parameters. It is completely universal. And this is, from my point of view, is incredibly interesting. Even if I will have, I will say, two words about history, but uh, uh, we know that uh, it was published first the statement, I believe, uh, of reference on Dutch, who is expert in nuclear physics. So this is important uh, to be expert in nuclear physics in this case. OK. So, now I would like to discuss property of this liquid, which is uh, uh, universal in the uh, exact uh, as but depends on the one uh, parameter in uh, arbitrary uh, values of magnetic field. In any case, uh, you must have a reaction uh, in any uh, case. So because uh, one uh, theory depends on one parameter, is very good theory too. I would like to <coughs> consider what it occurs when we are moving from one side of first resonance to another side of first resonance. Let's first of all, we have A, which is positive. In this case, you are atom present sort of molecules, ground state corresponding all atom collected in molecules and by nerves. And this is the uh, binding energy of uh, these uh, molecules. 
for uh, for theory in this regime, in this regime you can of course be when the interaction is strong, but you can also go when the interaction is relatively small. In this case, you can use uh, usual kind of theory. Important thing, however, what is the uh, uh, interaction kind of between these molecules? So you must know scattering amplitude, not atom per atom, but molecules per molecules. This is very difficult and very nice problem. Very, uh, it, uh, in, uh, Petrov, Solomon, and Shlapnikov uh, uh, solved this problem. <coughs> this problem was first was solved uh, for um, scattering of later uh, also to another variety of proton, but this is uh, different problem. And here it was solved uh, by uh, Petrov, Salomon, and Shlapnikov. And this result is a uh, number. It's uh, molecular, molecular scattering amplitude is equal to exactly, uh, not exactly because it's approximate number, but uh, exact number of something like uh, 0.63 uh, for, uh, uh, with compared to atom, atom scattering amplitude. It's very important for this field. This is negative. Uh, this is positive. Positive uh, scattering uh, length, by the way, corresponds to effective attraction of the object. The most important for this field is the next result by the uh, same atoms. The point is that our uh, atoms actually, our atoms are actually metastable objects. The point is that these atoms of uh, uh, alkali metals, uh, the low material atoms, even at the room temperature, are solids, even at the temperature, even more at zero temperature. So these objects are metal state. And this is very important from this point of view. Is it enough time to absorb, to make experiment? And in this relation, it's very important for the or if uh, your atoms are uh, fermions. In this case, you have very high stability of this um, uh, system of this atom. What is the reason for this stability? The reason of this stability is that to, uh, <coughs> uh, that if you have um, some weakly bound uh, dimer, weakly bound molecule, in this case, it's a dangerous process that this molecule, the jury collision with other atoms, will go to ground state. In this case, the big number, big energy will uh, be emitted. And finally, the system, uh, uh, by some cascade process, will go to uh, its ground state that is a solid or liquid metal. And this, of course, the catastrophe. But the point is that the collisions between uh, three fermions are not very effective. Because between three fermions, Two fermions, always one fermion has a side speed, a second has a side speed, but for, for this or this. It's a fermion with parallel spin, practically has no interaction at, uh, because of power principle. Wave function is equal to zero or one fermion in the place of the second. And because of this, uh, <coughs> this process of collision of three fermions is not effective at low energy. The corresponding calculation was produced uh, by the same actors, and they calculated that uh, for the many case for dialogue system, uh, the rate of recombination is inverse proportional approximately to square of scattering amplitude. But this means that scattering amplitude increases, and uh, so recombination rate decreases. And this means that when you are moving to the uh, phase of resonance, your system uh, can live longer and longer and longer. This is really something that is wonderful because from, uh, you know, from common sense, if interaction is strong, the combination might be faster. But this is the progress of fermions. And if you uh, produce the same calculation for bosons, you immediately uh, will find that according to common sense, it will be faster for large uh, interaction. Actually, uh, recombination rate in this case proportional to the uh, A for, uh, over 4. So this, uh, and this is the reason, but actually, from theoretical <coughs> point of view, we can have two kinds of universal liquid 
universal terminated and universal positivated. So from practical point of view, you can investigate only universal terminated. And this is a fact of my uh, Okay, this, uh, uh, I would like to say that it's so, actually it is a little bit fantastic. So I would like to illustrate all these uh, things by uh, uh, representation of real experiments. You can see this is recombination rate as function of scattering length. You can see it's really according to the uh, theory, decreases very fast. George Lapnikov, uh, this is the theoretical group. George Lapnikov was very unhappy with the uh, uh, inclination of this, and this group was not considered. From my point of view, it's very beautiful uh, uh, <coughs> confirmation of the theory. Okay, now I would like to show you uh, what is the, uh, looks like the real device. Um, <coughs> Uh, first, I believe that uh, this uh, phenomenon was uh, investigated in uh, by Catherine and MIT, who had already his, uh, has his Nobel Prize for positive compensation. But this is an experiment in the Duke uh, University. I show this because the picture is very good. And you can see this is a very simple problem, such a point of view device. You have two laser beams which were produced in some place maximum of the uh, electric field. Because you have maximum electric field and proper frequency, you have attraction. And this is the trap that all atoms attracted in this uh, small, uh, I will show the uh, typical parameters uh, later. The, the atoms are attracted in this uh, small device, in this uh, small uh, spot. Uh, here you have uh, two leads uh, to uh, concentrate the laser beam, and you have two coils here and here to produce magnetic field which need you uh, for first uh, resonance. This uh, device was very, uh, as you know, first all atoms were investigated in uh, magnetic traps. And this is uh, very good from some point of view because size of uh, cloud is large. But magnetic traps are not good for fresh potatoes because they have magnetic field itself which cannot be tuned. Here you have no magnetic field uh, for trapping, but uh, you have magnetic field to produce fresh potatoes. Now I will show you typical parameters. Okay, total number of atoms can be, okay, uh, 10 minutes. Maybe it is not so much for condensing matter physics, but it's not so bad to Density, uh, the, it's uh, very important that the Fermi uh, interspherical momentum is uh, large enough for so continuing for many experiments. This is frequency of oscillation <coughs> of atoms in uh, this trap. It's important that it's very convenient for all measurements. But the most important thing with Fermi energy for fermions corresponds from uh, uh, 200 nanometer, and this is recorded by Petterly. It's a uh, here rich microcarrier. This means that you must have temperature, which is much more less than this temperature. And this temperature so far is reaching um, point, uh, uh, zero 0.06 uh, from Fermi energy. Because this is the Fermi also really cold. It's not so very important, by the way, for majority of experiments to have very, very cold experiments. But uh, I uh, discussed it with Catherine quite recently with Trento, that now we get temperature maybe four times less, which is uh, they need uh, because they would like to reach magnetic phase transitions. Okay, now I would like to uh, go from one side of resonance uh, to resonance to another side of resonance. First of all, let's go to the magnetic field the scattered <coughs> length is positive. And let us, this is the dialogue so far. So this is a, a condition of it, uh, okay, uh, gas is dialed even in the sense of the direction because not only potential uh, range 
but also uh, the uh, scattering of the truth uh, uh, is small. In this case, all atoms collected in molecules, and we have superfluid gas of, of, of uh, the molecules. In this case, these molecules will produce positive state polarization, and it will be superfluid body. We have very, very good theory, very good theory of 1947, uh, which <coughs> describes uh, this uh, system. It is uh, interesting that uh, the group theory contains only one parameter, which actually is the scattering amplitude, which was something also historical story because it was noted by the uh, one double to, to Bogolyubu, uh, according to Bogolyubu's paper. And uh, you can see, but because of uh, Shlafnikov, uh, uh, Solomon, and Petrov calculations, we know the scattering of the So we have full theory of this uh, phenomenon. It's very important that this scattering of the is positive because this gas is stable only scattering of it is positive. If it would be negative, it will be collapsed. Uh, it's a different story. Now let's go on the opposite side of resonance, but also at uh, large distance. In this case, you have <coughs> atoms which uh, um, <coughs> interact weakly because scattering of it is small, but they interact for if negative scattering. In this case, it's, uh, it looks like it's positive, uh, opposite uh, situation. But the uh, situation is not opposite, actually. Because in this case, it's, there is no molecules. It is a pure nor fermi gas. It negative scattering corresponds to interaction, effective interaction in this fermi gas. But according to Barbara uh, Cooper's theory, the system again is superfluid. So we have superfluidity on both sides of this. Uh, of this um, uh, system. And then, uh, and you uh, and have a uh, place when A equal to zero, this is universal liquid, which theory doesn't depend on any parameters, and this can be investigated too. And this, uh, by the way, this is the most stable part of the It's uh, It's very simple, but initially it was uh, big doubts. Because there is, uh, I did not mention one uh, important this is this all this consideration is correct, but nobody uh, can give you guarantee that the system is stable. Because when you increase interaction and this interaction becomes stronger and stronger and corresponds in this uh, side of the function, this uh, quite possible that system will be unstable. It will be collapsed with something. This is possible. At first calculation uh, we gave just this possibility, so we were all very disappointed. But first of all, experiment now shows very clearly that the system is stable. And after the calculations, Monte Carlo calculation, very proved, so theoretical, no doubts that the system is uh, stable in all values of A. So we are very lucky here. Okay. Now, uh, I told you that uh, this system is superfluid. And I would like to, uh, and, uh, but okay, this I told, but what about experiment? And, uh, first, uh, and I would like to show experiment, which show you by naked eyes that this system is uh, superfluid. First, what is the superfluid? The exact statement of superfluidity is that uh, superfluid uh, is fluid where viscosity is equal to zero. Not uh, small, not 10 uh, over um, minus uh, 10, but really a zero. <coughs> is, uh, can anybody to show that uh, viscosity is not small, but exactly equal to zero? Yes, it's possible to produce experiment, which will show that uh, viscosity. Actually, I speak about sheer viscosity, there are different coefficients. And this uh, that sheer viscosity is equal to zero. To, to be sure, we must rotate the machine. We know that if you do rotate uh, liquid uh, in cap, for example, less, it will be rotated practically as a solid. Only difference will be that surface will have some curvature. And this is a date of rotation of you. But this, uh, 
but this is impossible for superfluids. Is it what's shown by Feynman because of quantization circulation and because, uh, according to Landau, uh, superfluid flow is always, uh, uh, is, uh, always um, potential? This wave of rotation is impossible for. Uh, for uh, this uh, liquid. The point is that if solid, uh, if uh, liquid rotates is a solid, uh, the, more, uh, the motion, the flow is not potential. Uh, there is a rotor. Uh, the, the so, the, the, this was discovered by Feynman, but in this case, the liquid can, be, uh, can rotate only around some quantized lines. Which, uh, uh, which when velocity is uh, uh, distributed in such a very singular way. Yeah, I can show you the difference. <coughs> this, this is a rotation of usual liquid. In the rest, you have such a surface of rotation that have something like this. If you will rotate superfluid liquid, and then initially it will be at rest at all. In some moment it will appear one vortex in the center, and there is no uh, this curvature. Actually, there is a very small deformation near the end, but this is cannot be seen in any experiment. And after you will increase uh, velocity of rotation, you will have many, many distortions, but in any case, it never will rotate as the usual way. Okay, this is the theory. This was produced experiment uh, by Kepler. But what is the, uh, first of all, what, uh, as you can rotate such a TDP? Rotation can be produced by direct way. If you would like to rotate usual liquid in the cap, you must uh, take a spoon and rotate in such a way that you uh, rotate. And now you have this, this uh, Tini um, Fermi fluid. And you put two laser beams, which is directional in the scleratum, and after we will rotate the system of this fluid. And as a result, you will see such a picture. What is this? What you can see here? You can see that you have your gas, and you have a lot of um, uh, dark spots. What is this? The point is that, as I have shown you, velocity near the this quantized uh, line, this center of rotation, is in. This means that uh, density is equal to zero. So density near this uh, line is uh, very small. And this is a small density, you can see this directly. Why I uh, told you that the velocity is not small, but exactly zero? Very simple. Because this corresponds to full thermodynamic equilibrium. This survived forever. If the system would have even small viscosity, in this case, after some time, it will, uh, this rotation will decay, will decay to usual area of rotation. But it is impossible because it is exact thermodynamic equilibrium. So this viscosity is equal to zero. Okay. Now, um, by the way, this is three, three pictures. This one show that it uh, is superfluid in the uh, in the positive scattering of the region. This is a negative, and this is the response to the infinite scattering. Yeah. Okay, so there is some sort of route here because you cannot see in this scale this picture uh, directly because it's uh, small. Uh, so this picture was taken after expansion. You can switch off the laser the red field that will be expanded and after you can easily make this uh, picture. But, okay. So this is conclusion of the shear viscosity of the Okay, now I would like to discuss uh, with you thermodynamic properties of this uh, uh, but I will speak about universal in the sense that here scattering magnitude is uh, infinite. And this means uh, that you have no parameters uh, in your possession to discuss, uh, to describe the theory. You cannot do something. So the most important uh, point is the Fermi 
uh, through this chemical potential is function of uh, basic air speaking still about the T for zero. And in this case, it's possible to understand that because of consideration of the nationality, the only possibility that chemical potential is proportional uh, to the, uh, this power of density, which is proportional to chemical potential of ideal thermogas without any interaction. So, infinite interaction uh, very similar to absence of interaction from this point of view. The only parameter which is important is parameter C, which must be universal in the sense that it must be the same for all uh, Fermi liquids near thermal resonance. Second uh, important parameter is related to superconductivity. As we know, according to Barton uh, Kuberschwitz theory, the energy, energy spectrum of uh, superfluid uh, Fermi liquid contains gap, which is uh, uh, prevent excitation of Fermi uh, particles. And this gap again must be proportional because of the, the, the same consideration to chemical potential of ideal gas with some parameter theta, which also is universal. And this is a uh, lot of uh, calculations. First of, all, of uh, all, you can try to use the Warden Cooper Schrieffer uh, theory inversion of Pogadubov and Delay. This is uh, uh, for uh, to calculate this parameter. I will show on my next lecture this <coughs> theory and uh, uh, as it can be used. In this case, uh, this is value of parameter, uh, of parameter. The best way to do calculation is quantum multiple calculations. It's, uh, you need a very powerful computers in this case. And fermions are uh, tricky for Monte Carlo. But in any case, you obtain this parameter, which is uh, not so bad, not so bad. So uh, we compare to mean field theory. Better to say mean field theory is not so bad when compared to Monte Carlo. And this is uh, the best calculation. So I am sure, actually, that this uh, uh, even second uh, digit is correct. Uh, it, uh, by the way, this parameter eta, which corresponds to, uh, which describes the, uh, uh, the uh, superfluid gap, is uh, quite large too. And this means we have very, very strong superconductivity here, but they are not uh, charged, so it's different from superfluidity of electrons. But in any case, it's the same sort of phenomenon. But the gap is very, very large. Typical, for example, uh, for usual metal, this gap is order of one, uh, one Kelvin. For the uh, high TC, this is okay, 10. But here, this is order of 10. Uh, it's possible to produce all the diagrammatic calculations and we give approximately the same. So we have. It's important, uh, however, that you can uh, uh, not only consider zero temperature, but also heat. In this case, it's some moment until the transition uh, from the superfluid state, when the fluid is equal to zero, to the uh, state with uh, normal property. This uh, was produced again uh, Monte Carlo calculations uh, by system of an hour, and then give relatively low um, uh, temperature. So, um, okay, not this, this little bit, not order of one, but one ten, uh, but okay, probably uh, this uh, okay. uh, why is it possible to apply the BCS theory for such strong interrupting system? BCS is for... No, 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 no. okay. The, 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 the next lecture, ah. I will discuss this. It's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a wonder. <laughs> yes. Okay. <coughs> what is the best way to check? The simplest way to check is to see a simple uh, density distribution in this trap. In this case, because the uh, trap, uh, of course, is larger compared to uh, uh, 
uh, infrastructure. This census, you can use uh, local data approximation, your microscopic thermodynamic approximation uh, to uh, calculate this distribution. You must take care of potential plus uh, potential and then it's possible. And you can see uh, that uh, <laughs> this is uh, experimental uh, um, uh, data which fits uh, uh, the research to obtain this uh, parameter C and we obtain a point 44 which corresponds to the uh, uh, the parameter correlation of the variable that you use. I don't know which accuracy is better than I believe that maybe experimental accuracy is better. Yes. And uh, this uh, is it uh, important uh, this interaction? This is curved for either uh, terminals. You can see it's big difference. So, from one side it's similar, from uh, the other side this is. Uh, okay. Okay. Now I would. Uh, this uh, is uh, another type of calculation problem. Okay. Uh, now it's an important way of. Uh, if you would like to measure and distill something with a real accuracy, you must measure frequency. And this frequency is frequency of collective oscillations. It uh, can be um, more or less e easy to excite, but there are different ways. You can excite this by accelerating by AC magnetic field, or you can change intensity of laser field. In this case, your track will brief, in this case you can see uh, it's, uh, actually an experiment where uh, consider one type of oscillation where this cloud oscillates in such a way in perpendicular to the axis to main axis direction this is brief mode and if the chemical potential depends on the <coughs> Basis on this law, frequency of this uh, mode has uh, such a simple expression, this uh, give you theory. So, um, on, uh, you can uh, calculate in any case, in all uh, limiting case. This is the molecular side, and this frequency is equal exactly to omega per curve. This is uh, uh, in the VCS side, uh, it's like ideal term gas practically. Unitarity is like uh, uh, ideal term gas uh, again because coefficient uh, is not important, important on only power. In this case, answer is this. So you must see something like uh, this. You can go this, uh, from this level to such a thing. It was just a very natural to think to uh, interpolate this, <coughs> and after it's possible to construct theory, which will give them just this interpolation. It was made, and uh, people measured with very good accuracy, as you can see. But in any case, uh, it was claimed that there is agreement between theory and the experiment, and all is okay. For me, it was full catastrophe. Because the situation on this side is not so simple. This uh, uh, well, this uh, two omega low corresponds to very first approximation of the loop of theory. It's possible to say this corresponds to uh, gross Petersky description of the oscillation. And this is the only first uh, 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 approximation, which in some sense is uh, an approximation of classical test. But uh, many years ago, in, uh, 57, then by the way, then this after the loop of uh, uh, tune is very, very, uh, very, not very simple because you don't need to uh, produce uh, a regulation of scattering of this potential Here, what is this? It was calculated uh, by Lee Hongkongian, first correction with respect to the quantum corrections from this classical level. And this uh, relative correction is proportional very strong to the square root of gas parameter. Very unusual. And this uh, uh, can result in change of the oscillation frequency. 
Вот это сказать, как полеша на то, что произошло, да, она бы не стригали, и вы дискали, дискали, что не спозите. This means that this such a court is impossible. You must have initially positive change, not negative to this. And uh, it was uh, because people uh, liked very much this uh, uh, pencil theories experiment. It was a great discussion because people say, okay, thermos are different, and so maybe there is no such correction. But I said that for me it was catastrophe because this correction has very, very simple physical meaning. This is actually zero uh, energy oscillation of phonons. If the system there is a phonons, and this must be such a contribution. And if it's no, it means that this we don't understand anything. When experimentalists understood that it would be catastrophe, they decided to make this catastrophe, of course, and we measured better. But when we measured better, we discovered that in this case, the really frequency is larger. And it was uh, produced a calculation by Monte Carlo, quantum Monte Carlo for the equation of state. And this is whole, uh, a whole curve, which now is in a good agreement to the experiment. And then uh, really should be. It is interesting that the old experiment uh, were correct. The problem was that the temperature was not low enough. And because this uh, correction related to a relatively uh, long waves of phonons, to the relatively small energy, this uh, result is very sensitive to the interaction. Okay, this is, uh, you can see, directly uh, shift uh, the frequency of temperature. You can see that even at quite uh, low temperature, you have big shift which uh, destroy the uh, young phone correction. Okay, now there is a, but so far we measure maybe it's not that accuracy, but there is a possibility to measure with absolute accuracy in some sense. And I, from my point, it would be very important. The point is that I told you that was uh, uh, proxy first approximation, second approximation, there is quantum corrections. Uh, but there is a case that there is no quantum correction at all. The to do this is enough uh, to uh, create a trend which is isotropic, which for all frequency of oscillation in all directions are the same. This not, does not correspond to this uh, uh, kind of trend. <coughs> to produce this trap, you must cross four laser beams, or uh, better to say eight, because there are. And in this case, you can create isotropic, uh, uh, isotropic uh, trend. In this case, frequency will be equal to, to omega, exactly. It will not be correction with respect to quantum correction, because this is an exact result of the uh, uh, it will not be non-linear correction so with respect to amplitude. That is very important because you cannot actually work at small amplitude. You must work at high amplitude. So it will be, in this case, it will be. But even more, by this day, you will check prediction, which was made by Boltzmann in 1972. It never was checked. When Boltzmann uh, derived his Boltzmann equation, he discovered that this equation has an exact solution. If you put gas with collisions, if you put it in the isotropic harmonic trap, this gas will oscillate without increasing entropy and without the, uh, uh, without, uh, the uh, damping because collision integral is will be equal to zero identity. Of course, well, this is classical test. But I told you, uh, I did not <laughs> told you, that this is very not uh, only with uh, taking to account quantum correction, not only uh, with arbitrary attitude, but even if you will take to account temperature. But, uh, of course, there is a restriction because our atoms must be uh, slow with compared to atomic size. But if you put in this permit you to go to classical gas, 
and this classical limit will give you this uh, Boltzmann situation. And so far, uh, this result of Boltzmann result uh, was not checked. But now we can check. By the way, the hyper nobody knows what is the correction to Boltzmann result. I once tried, it's not so easy to try. Okay. This is property of final temperature, but this uh, may be not so interesting. But now the last question I would like to explain to you why the uh, developing of the good uh, absolute thermometer for room temperature. So this is, uh, but uh, here it seems like it's impossible. <coughs> but this is possible, and this is related to the, this object. The point is that so far I uh, told you about uh, Okay, superfluid uh, Fermi uh, liquid. This means that we have a uh, liquid which is in equilibrium with respect to spin. You have one half atoms of such a spin, one half of such a spin. Actually, uh, there's not a really spin. You can use uh, any two states to create such a thing. But it's not important. We will speak about spin such a spin. But you can violate this. Uh, <coughs> This, uh, why? Because uh, there is a relaxation time of uh, sleep uh, changes very, as we know, very large in these conditions, as so maybe practically infinite. So you can uh, create uh, atom system with extra, um, with extra um, atoms, for example, with spin atoms. And what is the situation? It's very different scenario. But uh, practically, we are sure now that situation will be the next. You will have this is real experiment of Professor uh, Kekerly in MIT. This is a report value <coughs> of number of atoms, which is 10 million. This is the size of the uh, uh, of the component of the. Atom cloud is quite large, by the way, because our whisker is uh, 50 microns. So this is okay. It's uh, quite uh, you can see this by your uh, eyes. Okay, but uh, this uh, system is a system which consists of uh, Fermi atoms, uh, but uh, you have more spin up than spin down. And it is possible to show from theoretical point of view and from experimental point of view too that there is. Uh, uh, actually will be phase separation. Inside you will have superfluid phase where number of atoms uh, of two spins are equal and they are paired in pairs, <coughs> uh, Cooper pairs, we create superfluid uh, gap. And outside you will have atoms of one kind or one spin, uh, which of course is normal mass. But the point is that this is best not only ordinal, but completely ideal with very, very high accuracy. Because uh, Fermi, uh, slow fermions of parallel spin tend to scatter one one another because they function because of Pauli principle is equal to zero. Uh, so do you have you have here ideal gas? But the ideal gas property of ideal gas is well known. And you can very easily to define temperature, for example, looking for profile of density of ideal gas. So this is a real experiment, you can measure the, the ideal temperature. Important thing is that uh, uh, these atoms don't collide one another, but they very strongly collide with uh, um, superfluid part. So we are in full thermodynamic equilibrium with the, um, uh, with the superfluid uh, part and uh, it's one to another space. So this is real thermodynamic equilibrium. Okay. Thank you very much. For